What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a basic comparison video looking at the stompy leg armor for the Hunter. Yesterday as part of the July update, this piece of gear did get an improvement to its perk. So you've probably used these before. This armor essentially just improves all of the jumps for the Hunter. So to do this comparison, I came in here to the EDZ. I'm just going to do a comparison of the high jump and the double jump on this wall right here. See how high I get. First, I'm going to use a piece of legendary gear. The mobility is the same. Right now, my mobility is a 9. If I switch to the stompy leg armor, it stays 9. I want to keep this as consistent as I can. But just going to compare how high I jump on this wall. So right now, I have the high jump equipped. And this is the non-stompy armor. So if I jump up, I get up to that second window there. So pretty high with the high jump. The high jump is always going to get you a little bit higher than, than the double jump. Now, let's see how high I can get with the stompy armor. And this is this is just updated yesterday, so it does get higher than it did before. So, high jump with the stompy armor, and it gets me nearly above the third window. So, the stompy armor is getting me a full jump basically higher than the legendary gear. Huge improvement now compared to yesterday. The high jump, I mean, it feels like the high jump here is getting higher than any, any other character with the stompy armor now. That's with the high jump. So let's look at the triple jump or the double jump now next. So switch back to the legendary gear and I'm going to switch over to the triple jump. Now again, the triple jump is not going to get you as, as high as the high jump will, but it just gives you that added utility of being able to time things better. Here's a triple jump non-stompy armor so barely getting not quite above that second window the high jump got me a little bit above that so triple jump is is again not as high but adds a bit more utility now let's see the triple jump with the stompy armor so same deal doesn't quite get me up to that third window, but gets me much, much higher than, than the non-stompy armor. So this improvement to the stompy exotic armor, it doesn't quite make it as good as, as Bones of Io were for Destiny 1. However, it does make these really, really useful for most of the time, like any exotic, it's going to be situational when you use them. But for me right now, I'll probably have these equipped a lot when I'm just running around doing patrols because it's it's fun to use this. You can jump. It feels like you can jump halfway across the map when you have these things equipped. I mean, you're you're basically covering a bunch of distance when you have the stompy leg armor equipped. You also have that improvement to your sprint speed and slide distance, I guess, is somewhat useful. Maybe these will be used more often during Crucible when people can get shotguns more often and go back to the old school sliding shotgunning people but for general patrol for general you know play this is a, a fun piece of armor to use so I'd recommend if you haven't used these if you, if you had them in your vault but you never really got around to using them yesterday they, they did make that improvement I think these are quite a bit better now so it'll be one that I always keep on my character here to use every so often so just want to make that simple comparison video let me know what you think are you happy with that change they made to these? Are, are these your new Bones of Io for Destiny 2? Let me know in the comments. Most importantly, though, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up soon.